Hi, it's a Friday morning here on the MCU. I'm Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much for your time. We're building up to the start of the English Premier League later. Uh, today, Manchester United up against Leicester at Old Trafford. Also, yesterday was transfer deadline in the English uh, window. So, we'll tell you about deals that were made. Most importantly for us, Jordan Ayew, still the loan move from Sun City to Crystal Palace. I'm in the studio with my colleague, Seren Saki. We're going to go through the sport for you this morning. And we'll start here on the local scene now. Deputy Minister of Information. Curtis Perry Kwabla Okujeto has been named as a Deputy Youth and Sports Minister. Now, the Honorable uh, Pius Enam Hadide, who was the Deputy Minister of Sports, has been reshuffled to the Ministry of Information, where he will act as Deputy Minister of Information. However, Isaac Isiyama, the Substantive Minister for Youth and Sports, will still serve uh, in his uh, position and capacity. Now, who is served? Uh, Honorable Perry Okujeto. Here's a profile of him put together by my colleague, Seren Saki. Mr. Okujeto holds a Master of Arts degree in International Public Relations from Cardiff University, Wales, United Kingdom. He also studied public relations, marketing and advertising at Ghana Institute of Journalism, Accra. He's a product of Keta Secondary and Accra High Schools. Prior to taking up his ministerial appointment, Mr. Okujeto held the positions of Deputy Director of Communications and Acting Director of Communications of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, at different times. He was also Deputy Director of Communications for the Ecuador 20. 2012 and 2016 campaigns. In 2008, he was communications coordinator for the Ecuador 2008 campaign. He has worked with the New Times Corporation Information Service Department, Notongu District, Keta San Landes Football Club, a Division Two club, and the agency. As a brief profile on the new deputy sports minister Perry Okuja, so definitely. Uh, we'll get him to speak to us and bring you that uh, interview later. But we have to continue and talk about the Black Princesses. They will play their last good game against New Zealand at the ongoing FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup this Sunday. And whatever be the outcome, Ghana will be heading home after losing their opening two games. First was to France, uh, which they lost by four goals to one, and then uh, they lost to the Netherlands uh, by four goals. So a lot have been said about the team's performance at the tournament. And former Santiago de Kwakwa had to full coach David Duncan is not surprised. At Ghana's early exit for him, the princesses are way below the level of the teams in their group. I think that, you know, uh, people will cite excuses like, you know, preparations and all of that, you know. But um, that aside, I think um, the strength of the teams that they came up against too were way beyond them. I mean, uh, I don't think that it is too much of, you know, news. You know, if you get beaten by France, you get beaten by Holland, you get, they haven't played New Zealand just yet. I mean, but just in case they lose against you, it won't be a big deal. I mean, these are sides that are way ahead of them, you know, in terms of everything, various components of the game. You're talking about maybe their preparation physically, you know, uh, in terms of tactics and, you know, all that they have, you know, to enable them you know, get one over the Queens. I think that they, they have it in terms of advantage over us. So it's no big deal. I think we, we, we deserve what we got. A big, big fight night comes off at the Bukum Boxing Arena this Saturday. And Ghana's Patrick Alotti defends his WBO Africa Super Waterway title against the Ghana's Badru Lusambia. Now, and the man nicknamed Mr. Crash is confident he will beat the Ghanaian boxer. That's Patrick Alotti. I'm fit. This is a business. This is not amateur. This is a professional. I'm a professional. We have Saturday, Saturday one fight. You tell you, uh, Saturday, you come watch the fight. Fans, you can change. You say, the Uganda man, Uganda man, not Ghana man. Free chance. First one chance. Belt, you take it to Uganda. Wife, you take it to Uganda. I'm a Muslim. We have my home. One what? One wife. You get another two what? Two wives. From Ghana. I tell you, if you want six round knockout to him, you can do it. If you want 12 round, you do it. I want to win. So Kadrick Nsambia there, he's not thinking about the title he's going to get from Ghana. Rather, he's thinking about beating Patrick Aloti. We'll take the title and also we'll add uh, a Ghanaian lady to it as well because he's a Muslim and he's allowed to wear polygamy, so he's allowed to marry 
uh, more than two. So it's very interesting from the books. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite surprised that he's saying all these things. Maybe that's what he's coming for. But uh, if he can do that, fine. He, but then he can't take any woman from Ghana, I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's how we end sports on that uh, interesting note. We end the AM sports. Thanks so much, Peter Saki, for joining me uh, today. We are back on Monday with more in terms of Premier League highlights and all that will happen over the weekend. Enjoy your weekend and enjoy the matches in the English Premier League. We'll see you on Monday. But join us at 2 on Sports Today, our major sports bulletin on this platform for more in terms of preview to the start of the new English Premier League season. Have a wonderful day.